This is an account of a born state of today. It is a story of transformation. It is an account of commitment and dedication that brought a new narrative to a neglected state. It is a narrative powered by a transformer who, within the shortest record time, rewrote the history of a marginalized and neglected people. A Bonny State was created on the first day of October 1996 by the proclamation of late General Sani Abacha, then head of state, and it has successive governments which tackled in their own ways the numerous developmental problems facing the young state. From the first military administrator who midwived the takeoff of the new state to the second civilian governor whose vision was to connect the rural communities to the urban centers through unity bridges. It was the beginning of a struggle for self-actualization for a people neglected by contemporaries because of their backwardness. But for 20 years, a boy state had continued to suffer as a dust of the nation known for infrastructure decay, poor and undignified human capital and degrading social status occasioned by inferiority complex. The coming on board of the governor of Ebony State, His Excellency Engineer Chief David Mweza Umahi Akubaroha as the third civilian governor of Ebony State on the 29th day of May 2015 was a turning point in the struggle for socioeconomic liberation of the state. It is a leadership renaissance of historic developmental architecture that produced overwhelming accomplishments that we now celebrate. In his bid to transform the state, he deployed passionately his education, exposure, and experience to do things differently in order to change the ugly narrative of the state. Today, the governor is the first in Nigeria to invent road construction with concrete pavement of which he adopted in virtually all his road construction works. Through uncommon ingenuity, he has made a born state a global village with comprehensive network of roads, both in the urban and rural areas. A Bonny state now has the smoothest and highest network of roads after Abuja and Lagos. Today, the administration of Governor Omahi has made a Bonny the state with the highest number of flyovers after Lagos and Abuja. Having built about 13 flyovers with beautiful and aesthetic facilities and has dualized many of the federal and state roads to create ease of traffic for businesses in the state. This will no doubt boost economic activities in the state. The government has done quite a lot in creating the basic social amenities that will turn around the socioeconomic fortunes of the people of the state. The Oferekwe Water Scheme and the Ezula Water Scheme are being rehabilitated to ensure steady water supply. While efforts are being made to complete the water scheme at Ivo, Uburu, and Okao to provide pipe burned water to the rural communities. Ebony State prides with at least 20 kilometer street light in each local government area, and these street light also shines in virtually all major roads and streets of the capital city and satellite towns. This has enhanced security and nightlife in the state. Today, by dint of hard work, Umahi is the governor of the state with Africa's biggest light tunnel, named after President Muhammadu Buhari, a four-way tunnel with Africa's biggest water fountain underneath. The tunnel is one of its kind in Africa and brings beauty to the capital city. And it is a facility that symbolizes 
the new face of a born state, a new order in governance, linking to some critical infrastructure in the state. Take a look at the new face of a born state. Apart from social amenities, the governor has established economic stimulating ventures that will create job and trigger economic development. For instance, a Bonnie state is now a state with Africa's biggest shopping mall, also described as the microcosm of the macrocosm of the Dubai mall. A Bonnie shopping mall has the needed world best facilities and remains a beauty to behold anytime, any day. The Margaret Omahi International Market was established to reckon with the best markets in Africa. It is a market with modern facilities, including educational and medical facilities, alongside other markets created by the governor for market men and women in the state. A Bonny state under Governor Omahi has the best stadium ever built by a recent state administration in Southeast. His administration also has ambition to construct one of the best stadia in Nigeria. This shall provide job and enhance talent development among the youths. The administration of Governor David Nweza Omahi is to build the biggest international airport after Lagos and Abuja. It is sitting on about four kilometer land with 3.4 kilometer runway. The project has advanced greatly and it is hoped to be completed by 2022. It will redefine a bony come southeast link to the outside world when completed. He is the governor of the state with Africa's biggest ecumenical center with world-class facilities that bring it to international standard. And it is a befitting place of worship and edifice for the hosting of corporate social events and international conferences with about 20,000 seating capacity. We are determined to form a government brimming with creative ideas and innovative energy. A government that is lean, mobile and effective. A government that will make the people aspiration at the point of their need. A government that will listen and absorb the wisdom and counsel that will come from all citizens, young and old. We shall strive with our mightiest effort to give meaning to the concept of government of the people, by the people, and for the people. He's very methodical. He's going step by step, remi reminding himself, remembering what he has said and what he's going to do, and he does them. He's brought road. Have you seen the road? Have you seen anything so thick? Here we are, and we're seeing real infrastructure. But thank God we have a governor who knows better. And he's bringing such roads now, which will last more than 100 years. In Nigeria today, I'm a nationalist. I've gone around, including my friends, somebody like Tambu Adem. They're not doing half of what my governor is doing. And in Nigeria today, I think he is ranking first. Hey, with a young man who got about to change the life of black people, he transformed the, the life of black people. Not only the life of black people, but the whole eastern part of Nigeria. Very active young man. Have you seen what is happening in the United State? My heart went shocked. I congratulated him for what he is doing. And what he has performed in our clinic in, in a body state, we need a special like him to be there. He has rebuilt a body as he promised. Then he maintained another wonderful pace, pace of peace. In a body, we do not say you come from uh, north, you come from central, you come from south. No. We know ourselves as a bonians. That is a wonderful achievement. He fulfilled so many promises he made for us because he have already renovated 
the Aboyin State to be in a high grade. So he's a man of work. Uh, he has already opened the eyes of Aboyans and they have seen something which I have never seen before. So we promise that you shall support him. A bony is what I have always believed would be, and something better. Because a bony man was made to be next to nothing. We were not recorded with. But let's look at a bony today. Being run by a bony man, his name is His Excellency Engineer David Mezomai. He is doing wonders. Ebony State now hosts Africa's biggest college of medicine with a center of excellence for the treatment of heart diseases, liver and cancer problems, and for the production of dialyzers. The college has the state-of-the-art facilities and can compete with the best academic institutions of the world. It has the capacity to provide not less than 10,000 direct and indirect jobs, increase the revenue base of the state, and raise the human capital needs of the medical institutions in the country. The School of Nursing Com Midwifery was constructed also to provide the needed capacities for nurses and other health officials in Nigeria. The importance of the best virology center in Southeast constructed by Governor Umahi cannot be overemphasized as it has become a reference point in the management of Lassa fever, COVID-19, and other viral and hemorrhagic fevers as it has saved many lives. The administration of Governor Umahi constructed the best accident and emergency... <laughs>